Hello, welcome to the Thursday, May 21st, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Brad today is walking us through an ICE ID infection that he observed earlier this week. It arrives as so often as a Word or Excel document with macros and then installs an executable. Now, a couple things that sort of stick out here. First of all, as so often, we do also see odd top level domains like xyc.club and .top. Don't really see a lot of valid domains among those top level domains. So something that in many organizations, they may just block these top level domains. Another interesting sort of feature here is that part of the executable is encoded in a PNG file. So in an image and then used by the initial uh, downloader to assemble the actual malicious executable. This type of malware tends to be fairly easy to defend against, uh, like for example, these top level domains and then simple uh, techniques just to harden uh, windows. Now, what uh, these actors usually count on is that you have a couple systems in network that are out of spec and can be used to then essentially serve as a beachhead for an attack like this. And of course, they're also just often going after home users. And researchers at Tel Aviv University came up with an interesting new denial of service attack that again uses DNS. They're calling it the NXNS attack. And well, the name comes from the NX domain, the can't found a reply as well as from NS, NS records that are being used in this attack. This attack requires that a recursive name server will first connect and try to resolve the attacker's domain. Domain. Now, the attacker is going to reply with a pretty long list of NS records, name servers that are actually not responsible for the particular domain. So what will happen now is that your recursive name server will query those name servers and NX domain response will be returned. And then, well, your recursive name server will keep trying to resolve the domain and keep querying these name servers. The paper suggests that amplification factors of the order of 1600 are possible with these attacks. All the big uh, DNS vendors like uh, the ISC, the Internet System Consortium, then uh, Unbound, the Not Resolver, PowerDNS, Microsoft and others have uh, published updates that will essentially just limit the number of queries that are being sent in case there is an NX uh, domain response return. So this isn't quite as straightforward as some of the other reflective uh, DNS uh, denial of service attacks, uh, but still fairly feasible and not all that difficult to pull off. The only thing it requires is that this recursive name server will send a query to the malicious domain server to receive these bad NS records. And then we got updates from Adobe, nothing really too exciting. There's one critical vulnerability in Adobe Character Animator that can lead to arbitrary code execution. But again, I don't think that software is that terribly commonly used. Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Edition, and Adobe Premiere Rush suffer from information disclosure vulnerabilities that are also being addressed. I see uh, these Adobe uh, patches often being referred to as out of band uh, security updates or critical out of band security updates. Adobe really has moved away sort of from this patch Tuesday, mostly for Flash. The patch Tuesday is still important because that has to be coordinated with Microsoft's patches. This other software, Adobe, in recent months has sort of updated whenever they have a patch available for the software. So nothing to be too terribly worried about. Yes, patch, uh, but nothing you need to rush. Uh, there are no known exploits for any of these vulnerabilities. 
Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening. And uh, as I mentioned before, we are pushing out a couple of uh, small videos. I have a few more from Jan. Jan has a real uh, sort of knack for finding uh, these uh at first sight, minor vulnerabilities in Windows uh, that are small enough that Microsoft is not going to patch them, but that are still quite useful for an attacker. Uh, so I'll publish another one uh, tomorrow and probably one more than on Monday. Also, if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, take a look at Sans Fire coming up in a few weeks now. Take classes from the comfort of your own home. And we do have four different handler talks scheduled for that week. And those handler talks will be open to the public. Well, that's it. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.